Hey everybody, it's me, Garen Singh. Welcome back to Road to 88 Suarez of episode 4. Woohoo! And yeah, guys, um, I'd like to apologise. It's been two weeks since I last made a video. That's because I've been at home, guys, because you know it's been Easter break for me, Easter holidays, and um, yeah, I've been at home. Hope you had a good Easter. I had one good one too. And um, But don't worry, guys, I am back now. From I'm back at uni now, and um, yeah, I'm going to push on my final work at uni and also up upload more videos regularly, guys, for you. So, yeah, this is episode four. Woohoo! And yeah, to let you know, guys, I've recorded episode four and five before I went home, but I never had time to edit them there because I was busy. But hey, guys, I'm back now. That's where I'm at. So, let's get into this. So, this is episode four. We're into our first game today, and we're playing against a 3 5 2. He's got mainly Galatasaray players. He's got Felipe Melo, he's got Schneider, he's got Yilmaz, he's got Drogba, he's got another centre back. Who also plays for Galatasaray? He's got uh, Shakhtar Donetsk centre back. He's got Jacarini at left mid. They've got a right mid from Salta Vigo, I think. But yeah, anyway, he's got the Juventus away kit, the yellow one. It's quite a nice kit, but I like his black one better. But yeah, anyway, guys, 25 minutes in. Continue has the ball here. He has a shot. Keeper does very well to save it. It was a good save. A fantastic save. But yeah, anyway, Henderson takes the corner and. Colo Torre scores on his debut. I think it's his debut. I don't know. Episode 3 was so long ago. Let me know, guys. Is this his debut goal? Is this his debut game? But yeah, he scored a really nice header. Well, not very really nice header because they're so easy to score on this FIFA. Few 14 these days. I mean, it's ridiculous. I hate conceding them and I bet people hate conceding them as well. And yeah, a wild Sissoko appears. Don't know what the hell I was doing there. <laughs> Creep alert. It's <laughs> a black <laughs> I don't even know. But anyway, Aspas is the ball here. He absolutely smashes it outside of the left foot to make it 2-0. Woohoo! 11 minutes for half time. But yeah, guys, that's a Soko. I don't know what the hell I was doing. But yeah, a random to Soko. Yeah. <laughs> I used Chroma Key, I think, to change the colour on him. But yeah, anyway, it's half time, guys. I'm going to comfortably win 2-0. Debut goal from Colo Torre, as far as I know. And Aspas adds another goal to his goal tally. So yeah, and let's see the stats. He's been better. He's had more shots, but then again, we have more shots on target. Ten shots on target, you know. So you know. But anyway, um, yeah, into the second half now. Did a good tackle there. Aspas receives the ball here. Sterling does plays a one-two with Aspas. Aspas has the ball here. Gets past the defender and outside of his left foot yet again. He scores another trademark outside the left foot goal. He's done that a lot of times for me in this ep in this series. You know, it's been only four episodes. But anyway, Sterling's on the run here. Gives it to Aspas. Aspas feeds Moses. Moses keeper does a brilliant save, but Aspas picks up the pieces with another rebound. Don't know how that went in. That was such a bad header, but yeah, it was travelling so bad, slow. Yeah, now it's 4 0. And yeah, guys, as you know, team of the seasons are out, and um, the BPL team of the seasons, Premier League team of the seasons are coming out tomorrow. Today's Tuesday. And um, yeah, continue as it to make it 5 0. And yeah, um, I will be opening two packs, I've got 43k or something, and I'm going to open two packs and see who I get. I'll upload a video of that, guys, don't worry, I'll do that probably on, when it's happy hours, I'll probably do it on a Thursday or Friday, because I have uni on Wednesday and Thursday, I might be busy, but I have made videos on Wednesdays before, but yeah, we'll see. But anyway, guys, he makes a mistake, he'll bring his goalkeeper around, Aspas has the ball again, love a long shot with left foot, to make it 6-0, yeah, I think so. But yeah, guys, I will be doing that, so don't worry. And also, guys, because team of seasons are out, prices of players are dropping, like, 88 rate as far as it's gone down, it's not 100k anymore, it's like 90k now or something like that. It might have gone up again, you don't know. But, um, yeah, I need to start trading soon. Hopefully in episode 6 or 7 I'll start trading. I need to, obviously I need to do a little trading first. For Then once I get more coins racked up, I can do bigger trading, trading and, you know, get better players. But yeah, anyway, he gets a consolation here with DDA Drogba to make it 6-1. But that doesn't really matter because we won 6-1. Oh, Aspas got another hat-trick. He got four goals in that game and Colo Torre and Coutinho got the other two. So yeah, that was another comfortable win. Aspas got man of the match, obviously. It's too bad in real life, he's so shit. <laughs> he's alright in this game, but yeah, in my opinion, we should sell him in real life. He is not good. He's not Liverpool quality, he's terrible. But anyway, speaking of Liverpool players, we are now going to buy Martin Killy! As another right back, because Moses is low on fitness. Because there's hardly any right mids or left mids that play for Liverpool, apart from Sterling and Moses. Sterling has a right mid card, but I've already got, but no one, there's no other left mid cards for Liverpool so Sterling had to get his old card I'm not going to get his upgraded card because it wouldn't because you know it would be duplicate I won't be able to play him instead of Moses you know it would be like two Sterlings playing but yeah so we have to play Kelly at right mid but you know he only gets like six chemistry but it doesn't matter because you know it doesn't just matter now it doesn't matter because then um, yeah we can still play but yeah and then guys we're just sorting out the squad numbers and all out the players and yeah Kelly's number 34 and make sure we've got Ngu's number back and we're yeah changing um 
set piece takers as well for everything so yeah we'll get that sorted and at the moment are my free kick takers Colo Torre or Aga because they've both got amazing long shot but once Steve once we buy Stevie G we have to sort this out but I want to buy Sturridge first before I get him because I need another striker but yeah guys Liverpool we didn't we've done all right this season we've done amazing but yeah, anyway against a four three four one two team he's got Giovinco and some of some guy up front from CSK Moscow I think I don't know but yeah but yeah guys Liverpool yeah we lost to Chelsea over the weekend you know blunder in a title race like it's not in our hands anymore it's in Man City's hands but hopefully Everton touching wood can do us a favour and make Man City drop points Everton avoid defeat then that'd be good for us but then we'll need to make sure we beat Crystal Palace and all that. but that Chelsea game guys oh I've been so depressed for the last few days but I'm recovered now but you know and we guys have a corner here Kelly has a head almost corner his debut keeper saves but Aspas picks up the pieces yet again to make it 1-0 inside 10 minutes but yeah, guys, I'm trying to forget about a little bit as soon as possible. Just you know, but I'm hoping we'll be able to get this league. A touch wood for Gerard, man. That mistake he made against Chelsea, he slit when Demarbar scored. That was so bad. But hopefully we can do it. You know, have to hope on Everton. But you know, if Man City beat Everton, sadly, I don't see Man City losing their next two home games, which are our last two games against Villa and West Ham. I think they'll win them. But you never know. Anyway, the keeper saves a continuous shot there, and Aspas picks up the pieces yet again to make it 2-0, and this guy's put his controller down, he had enough, he got to his console, pressed the off button, and he rage quit, well, pressed the power button, and yeah, he quit, the connection had been lost, and we got the win, so yeah, that was really short, that wasn't even half an hour, and we got the win, we got 215 coins, 215 coins, but we didn't get that much, but you know, we got another point, three points, our revival, yeah, and now we're going to buy the coins we've got. Martin Skirtle, we'll buy another centre back. Next centre back we have to get is Mamadou Saka. We've got the Senatile. The Senatile? Yeah, Senna. Senatile, what the hell? is? We've got a Senatile. Senatile. Kem Stahl and Skirtle as well, which improves his defence, even though he doesn't really need that much improvement. But yeah, we're going to give a contract now to Joe Allen. And our contracts are running low, guys, at the moment, you know, from the free packs, the untradeable packs we got. But yeah. There we go, Martin Skettle. So yeah, so now the squad numbers now. Skettle gets number thirty-seven, and now we're gonna go into the next game. Next game, and yeah, guys, tonight is the Champions League semi-final, second leg between Bayern Munich and Real Madrid. Guys, Bayern Munich got a one-nil lead from their home game at the Bernabeu, and yeah, guys, comment below if you're watching. What do you reckon the score's gonna be in that game? Don't comment, obviously, if it's when the game's been finished because, you know, that'd be pretty silly. But, yeah, anyway, against a 4-2-2 team, he's got full chemistry. He's, a, he's basically got a Serie A team and some Italian striker up front who doesn't even get bronze one doesn't get full chemistry. He's got Emmanuelson in there as well. And I'll let you know, guys, this game's absolute demolishment. Coutinho has the ball here for Mingu and Coutinho fires it in to make it 1-0. Coutinho has the game of his life, guys. He's amazing. Coutinho again, 2-0. Simple as that. So easy. Yeah, shakes that Brazilian arsenal. <laughs> And celebrates with his fellow compatriot Lucas. Keeper makes a mistake and Goo gets it, gets past the keeper and pick, taps it into the empty net to make it 3 0. Yeah, it's 3 0 already, guys. <laughs> 3 0. Well, 33 minutes gone. That's normal. But yeah, 3 0. Then we want more for half time. Lucas gives the ball to Coutinho. Coutinho gets the ball again. Can I get a second of the game? You bet he can. No, it's hat trick, actually, isn't it? Yeah, he's got his hat trick. It is. 4-0, yeah, and it's half-time, 4-0, Coutinho's got his hat-trick, and Ingu's got one as well, you know, he's playing instead of um, Aspas, because he's low on fitness, but look at that, total annihilation, he had one shot on target, and I don't even remember that shot, because it was weeks ago, but yeah, anyway, into the second half now, he held on for quite a while, but then towards the end, since the seventh minute, gets the ball here from a corner, have a shot at Henderson, blocks it, and Sterling, luckily for some reason, gets the ball and slots it off the keeper, it was a very lucky goal, it was very jammy how it landed to him because look, you take the corner here, had to show this replay. Let's skip the normal, don't I? It's a good tackle with the guy. Henderson has a shot, it's blocked. Block falls to Sterling. Sterling luckily controls the ball and taps it in to make it 5 0. We're not done yet. In the 80th minute, Ingu has the ball here, or 81st, and makes it 6 0. Another assist for Coutinho, and Ingu's got his second of the game. Yeah. And then we want to get another goal here, Coutinho has the ball here, just simple as, going past every defender that runs out, and basically this guy's not trying anymore basically, you know what I mean, you know when you stop playing and just keep on pressing swear to slide tackle because you're so pissed off, but yeah, this guy was that, and Coutinho, I don't know how he was able to hold Ingu there, bloody hell man, Coutinho's got some muscle man, holding off, holding giant guy like Ingu, but yeah, that was a good finish by Coutinho, very simple goal, and then, 
in a nightmare now. We want to get an eight now. Moses has the ball here. Plays it to Coutinho. Coutinho, will he get another goal? Yes, he will. I think he scored like two hat tricks in this game, maybe or five. I don't know. But yeah, Coutinho scored again to make it eight nil. And then we want to get Ingu his hat trick. Luckily, get the ball here and Coutinho pits it in Ingu. Ingu does a one-two of Raheem Sterling. Sterling puts Ingu Ingu for Ingu scores a similar goal to his second goal with a simple finesse pass keeper to make it nine nil. Unfortunately, guys, we couldn't go for the for the number ten. Unfortunately, we couldn't win double figures because um, yeah, it's too difficult. No, what am I talking about? It's easy, but yeah, it was no, it was we squarely scored two 90 minute goals. There was not enough time added on, so yeah, we won nine nil in our third game. So we won three games in a row. Our unbeaten record is still amazing. Obviously, it'll come to an end soon, like every good thing does. But hopefully, we'll we'll see how long it takes us to hold on to this record. So yeah, look at that, 28 shots. Yeah, another nine points. I know we've got nine points. I'm three points. Yeah, we're gonna buy another goalkeeper. We're gonna buy Danny Ward. I don't know why I'm buying this. Buying because he's a Liverpool player to put on to have on the bench. You know why not? I'm never gonna play him probably unless I try to take the piss and I'm thrashing a team. But I might do that. Yeah, it's a good idea actually. So yeah, Ward will store him in the club and we've got him now. We'll sort out the team and give contracts to Sir John Flanagan and Victor Moses and Jordan Henderson, who we're missing at the moment. He's been suspended in real life, but yeah, hopefully he'll be back soon. But yeah. You know, putting the start 11 in ready for episode 5 and yeah guys I, have edit I haven't edited episode 5 yet but I have recorded it so when that's done guys I will upload it you know obviously no I mean in the next few days I'll upload the video or edit it and all that and I'll, I won't do it tomorrow I'll do it probably Thursday you know and wait for that so yeah anyway guys now we're going to look at the top scorer chance we're going to show you the top scorer so Aspas has got 24 goals and 7 assists in 9 games wow Look at that, that is amazing. He's got all one yellow card, but really who gives a crap about that? What's taking it so oh yeah, Coutinho in three games has scored six goals and has got two assists. Ingu has played three games, has got five goals and three assists. He's on the right. Henderson's got four goals in seven games and five assists. Don't know about that guy. Uh Colo Torre has got one goal in three games. Sterling has got one goal in three games. So yeah, that was Torre Torre's debut goal. Moses has got one goal in seven games and five assists. Lucas has Three assists, that's about it in four games. Flanagan has not nothing. Aga has nothing either. Allen has three assists in eight games, not too bad. Sissoko hasn't done anything. Skirtle's played just one game. And Danny Ward hasn't done that much. But yeah, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you for episode five, and I'll be out as soon as I can. So take care, guys. Goodbye.